Let's do this thing. Here it comes, everybody. Uh, let's have some fun here in Duke Film Sack in three, two, one. Patriot game. Gosh dang it. I do it every week. Hold on. Here we go. Three, two, one. We have all watched, I think with a sense of awe, the protean <laughs> events which have taken place in Moscow and the republics and the enormous changes resulting from these events. In this volatile climate, then, I must conclude that we can only speculate on the future of Soviet fleet development and deployment. Oh, you're not going to make me wear a rubber, are you? <laughs> this is Film Sack. Oh, sure. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Film Sack. This is Film Sack episode. <laughs> Hold on a second. Where did, where did my spreadsheet go? Trust me, we've done a lot of these. My spreadsheet just totally crashed. What is this about, it's Google? It's post 600. Oh, no. about that? Hold on. It's more than 600. It's more than 600, less than 700. Well, Hollow uh, Man was 600, right? So this right. is 602. Uh, four Patriot games. Four, four, four. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Are we counting? Are we counting Mission Impossible three three times? Uh, Hollow Man six hundred was Cocaine Bear. Six hundred one Blood oh, Simple. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. All yeah. right. So I'm there. I'm there now. Gosh dang it. That's Stupid right. Stupid. Cocaine Bear was the one. The, the, the opening song I had to do. Proof that times. we don't. <laughs> proof that we don't edit this podcast at all. Yeah. No. Keep that in mind. The 600 is how many times you had to do your intro that day. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Sorry, everybody. Film Sack 604 uh, is today's episode, and we are here mining the very depths of film entertainment for all mankind for all those many episodes. I'm Scott Johnson, joined today by Brian. You stole me lucky charms and shot me, baby brother Dunaway. Oops. Oh, hi. This week on Film Sack, we don't play no games when we go all Patriot-like over at Paramount Plus while watching this explosive 2006 thriller featuring everybody's favorite CIA analyst slash family man turned unlikely British hero, God save the Queen, and her inbred cousins, apparently, from the Irishman, from the, yeah, save them, from the Irishman played by an Englishman. Good Lord, just knight me already. Anywho, <laughs> I've been plotting my revenge all this week for a real or perceived wrong that was recently done to me and my family. Step one, call up DirecTV and request that they retask their satellites over Randy's house. And the guy on the phone was like, but that's so hard. And I was like, retask, I say. <laughs> well, after a few hours and surprisingly just a one-year contract extension, I was able to enact step two. All Randy's channels are now the Sean Bean Network. 24 hours of Sean Bean getting whacked, impaled, and or beheaded. Step three, hijack Randy's hot tub cam. Oh, why are you crying, Randy? Sean Bean will be okay. No, nope. hot tub full of tears. My revenge is complete. Ibit, zoom and enhance. Wait, why are Darth Vader, Mace Windu, and Han Solo having a dinner party? The odds of coincidence are quickly diminishing. Also, never tell me the odds. <laughs> Every possible reference in there. I love, mm -hmm. I love it. As many as wow. I could. Don't change. Shovel men. Never change. Uh, also with us, Randy, he thinks that redhead, oh wait, I'm sorry, it's Randy, he thinks that redhead might be up to summit, Jordan. Aloha, Scott, Brian, Brian, Andy. good morning. All right, <clears throat> all right, listen up, listen up. We're going to somehow get from Libya to the United States of America while all of the security forces between here and there are looking for us. And we're somehow going to get our hands on high-tech armaments and vehicles and repelling equipment and stupid, stupid, stupid night vision. And <laughs> then the three of us are going to assault a house that's surrounded by armed guards with only one man on the inside. He's the, the double agent. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this as long as you remember these three important facts. Oh, let me get a pen. Number one, All right. when you approach a heavily guarded estate, you can just come right up on the beach. Professional guards trained and armed by the government would never see that. Number two, you can count on a highly decorated former Marine who fears for his life and the safety of his family to keep his home security guns unloaded. Hell, he'll probably win when you have the shells right next to the gun. <laughs> Number three, always remember, if you have two identical boats and one takes off a good two minutes before the other, 
The second boat can easily catch the first, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. even with more passengers in the second boat. It's mm -hmm. just a fact. Stop Facts. arguing. I said, stop. You want me to shoot your other knee? Oh. <gasps> no. Mm. No, I don't. Oh. No. I like that one. Yeah, that's a good knee. That's the knee I need. Get it? Need. Need. Uh, <laughs> okay. With the, uh, what we have here finally is, Brian, you've been a very bad boy, Jeffrey Ibbett. Oh, Ooh. I have. I totally have. All right, here we go. Uh, see if you can predict this one. Oh, which can't. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> can't wait. There was a time mm -hmm. when he was a special agent tracking down Russian submarines. Mm -hmm. But those days have gone <laughs> and he was sightseeing in London until he thwarted you Sinn Féin fiends. Down an octave. He'll use all his skills at zoom and hence he has no equal. Because you attacked his wife and she is pregnant with the sequel. Jack Ryan's gonna get you. He's been spying since he met you. Oh, Sean Bean, what will you do? Because Jack Ryan's gonna get you. You're denying, but I'll bet you. Kick the bucket like you always do. <laughs> Patriot Games. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If we don't if we don't do film sack karaoke where we let people do their own and send them in, we're missing out. <laughs> that is amazing. That's maybe one of my yeah. favorites you've ever done. And also, you, oh, I, thank you. I had you this thought. You can tell your confidence has grown. Oh, yeah, I, yeah this, I also have this oh, thought. Yeah. Listen, listen to this. So um, I get accused all the time of cutting off more than I can chew. You know, just, ooh, a <laughs> yeah. new project, yeah. a new thing. Let me do this. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I think Brian, <laughs> Brian has established a standard now that is really yeah. hard to back yeah. up from. You know, I know, I, I know. I don't even know what I'm going to do if I, I can't come up with a song some week. And I'm like, oh, I'll just do the Bob Newhart phone call thing. It's like, oh no, I yeah. can't. There's yeah. like, I can't go back. Yeah, yeah. new no. levels, new levels of standards here. When and, I uh, stop doing the songs, I have to leave the show. It's yep. the way it's, it's going to have to be. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Oh gosh, it's going to be a <laughs> sad day on Sackland. <laughs> so I good. have an unexpected sudden trivia question for uh, Scott and Brian Dunaway. Oh my gosh! Because oh, makes... you, you know I'm going to say Liv Tyler, right? Yeah. This so, is this, this is the sound grip. it made. All right, Silver go ahead. Stone. Go ahead. What do you get got? a grip is the like <laughs> peak of my MTV viewing. In, okay. Yeah. In my lifetime, like mm. when it came out, every song that came, uh, wow. And uh, the the trivia question for you is, you know, every all of those videos uh, starred uh, Alicia Silverstone. Who mm -hmm. was the jilted boyfriend? Oh. In crying. The first of the three Alicia Silverstone Aerosmith music videos. Oh, right. By the way, question. By yeah. the way, she was only sixteen when they filmed "Crying." Uh, right. So it's it it a little weird. That's, yeah. that's way after Keanu Reeves' appearance on Paul Abdul's video, right? So yes. <laughs> it would have to be. Yep. Yeah. And before so see, who would be Jason hot, Priestley with, and uh, yeah, I was about and, to say, uh, is it Freddie Prince Jr.? He's kind of like in that <laughs> that's age close. group. That's not that's close? that okay. bad, but no, it was not Freddie Prince Jr. No. Uh wow I I I, I can't even answer this and one. Channing this, Tatum I, would be the only other person that, uh, I could think of. Yeah, Liv Tyler was in one of them. Uh, with Alicia yep. Silverstone. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that They're running around but breaking I don't think stuff. She was the jilted lover. No, <laughs> no, but they were running around breaking shit in a store. That's they were. What I yeah, they, yeah, they were yeah. driving in a convertible, uh, Thelma and Louise style. That's and, what uh, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Then they yeah they just basically went on a on a messing up spree yeah I'm messing up and then I, I remember seeing like uh <laughs> in, seeing in like crying, uh, lord of the rings and going hey that's that girl that done run around and broke all the shit with the other girl in that thing <laughs> crying yeah. was the was the music video where alicia silverstone gets a navel piercing and then suddenly oh, the yeah. rest of the 90s were all women getting navel piercings oh so. that's right and doesn't she do some sort of like uh daredevil yes she jumps off yeah, a bridge yeah. at the end and her boyfriend played by 
Steven Dorf. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Really? Whoa. Wow. Bad like, man. Like, she's going to yeah. die, and then you realize, no, oh, she's yeah. looking up, she's giving him the finger. Bungee cable, oh, and she's yeah. giving him the finger. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. As he okay. deserved it. He's then, a vampire. And then she awkwardly had to pull herself back up that bungee cable while <laughs> right. he just sat there. <laughs> or, had, or another another unintroduced yet person comes along and lowers her down. From, yeah. Oh, that could be. It could be uh, Liv Tyler. A new boy. As they, as they get ready for their, their video. Yeah. <laughs> the prequel. You can't Steven say Dorf. you can't say Steven Dorf without me thinking of two things. Yes. Uh, Blade, bad guy in Blade. Yeah. Blade, so yeah. good in Blade. And then uh, the other thing is uh, some movie, and I'm sorry to say this, and everyone's going to say, of course, this is what Scott remembers, but I saw some movie where his wiener was out. <laughs> oh, gosh. And it's great that you remember his wiener, but not the movie. I don't in remember which you it. Saw the wiener. I really don't. It was some we kind call of that weird. The dwarf effect. It was. It was some kind of dark. Uh, uh, cyberpunky kind of weird movie, and he oh, walked out in the room. That, and, sounds um, like it was some kind of dork. Yeah, it was a big dork. I have Stephen to admit. Dork. Yeah, Stephen, Stephen dork. dork. Was it? Was it <laughs> SFW? Uh, now, maybe that would make sense because <laughs> I don't know. I know <laughs> it was different. really hardcore. It was meant to. It was meant to be like this moment of like, oh wow, he's really oh, going hard. Oh, I just looked it up. Or something? I just looked it up. It's Innocent Lies. Is that okay, the name I don't of know it? That I, I never heard of it. I still don't yep, remember. That was yeah. it. And, and now Randy's going to get a bunch of penis enlargement things in his uh, search engine. <laughs> yep. Not, yep. What do you mean now? Now that's, that's like constantly. <laughs> yeah, welcome Wait. to TikTok. Welcome I'm, to his I, algorithm. I yep. sometimes listen to AM radio. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, I, I love it. Yeah, I didn't mean to find a future film sack film, but available on Prime is a movie called Steel, where master criminal Slim Stephen Dorff assembles a team of daredevils to pull off a succession of bank heist. Their getaway method for each robbery involves an extreme sport. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, wow. From the 2002. I got to see it. Okay. It's like, 2002. It's like uh, somebody yeah. said, oh, point break. We could probably make that worse. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. Is that possible? How are we getting out of here? How about some, uh, how about some rollerblading? Extreme. Yeah. Might actually right. be yeah. possible. Um, I saw him in something recently that I really liked him in. Uh, but I don't remember what the hell it was. Uh, so it was a TV series, wasn't it? Oh, because I think I saw it too. Um, um, crap. I like revisiting the movie Gate. Do you guys remember, guys remember that when he was the Gate? Gate? We watched that on film Did we watch that? Is the, the Johnny Depp so? thing? Was it? Uh, no, Stephen Dorff was in this one. He was Glenn. It was oh, uh, I don't remember. 80s horror old, kind of film. Old Henry? Is that? Oh, it? Old Henry. That's it. He's great in Old Henry. He's a bad yeah. guy in Old Henry. Holy <laughs> shit, he's good. <laughs> Yeah, thanks I'm, a lot, Randy. Old look, Patriot Games. This, We're not going to talk about this. this day, by the way, is this the quickest <laughs> we've ever veered off of the, the movie? That, easily, yeah, it's just easily. It's just evidence, Brian, that your song was that good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. That's how we got here. That's how we started right. getting here. But I don't think it was entirely that fault. But 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 it is okay. Let's just mark the date. This is the quickest we got off the movie. By far, yeah, gotta be, yeah, gotta be. We haven't even what, we said what again? it is yet. Well, here I'll let Fletcher tell you. Okay, he'll explain. He knows. Here you go. Patriot Games. When CIA analyst Jack Ryan interferes with an IRA assassination, a renegade faction targets him and his family for revenge. Whoa. Yes. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. All that's that. yeah. That's, that's basically really it. That's basically it. Uh, they don't really, that description doesn't describe all the standing around this movie does. There's a lot of it uh, where mm -hmm. there's nothing going there's on. There's a lot but... of talking. I, yeah, this, I, 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 when I was younger, when this came out, a younger man, I, I didn't have the patience to watch this film. I sat mm. and watched this 92. Yeah. <clears throat> I just graduated high school. I tried to watch this at the theater and I was like, no. <laughs> well, so what you. did you do leave or go I to left. sleep or I, oh I really yeah i left oh my gosh you left wow, the you walked film? out of patriot games okay yeah. this is new this is new I'm information out. this See was ya. your johnny demonic is that what this was for you you yeah yeah i was like mm. <laughs> holy <laughs> the only other movie i ever walked out on was the thin red line also boy okay. uh, huh. for that for that do you for, for my age okay. okay these two movies have a, a lot in common do you th imagine now that you're mm. older you you could sit and watch thin red line Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I watched yeah. this, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't leave. But you well, know, you're you're not yeah. wrong because um Hunt for an October and I could it could just be my memory of it, but it feels like it's got a lot more action, a lot more suspense, like there's there's far less just standing around chatting, even though I think a lot of the movie, uh, a lot of Hunt for an October is standing around chatting. Yeah. yeah. But this one does not feel as 
gripping as no, I agree. That yeah, movie. I, I feel the same way about I feel like Clear and Present Danger, the follow up to this in ninety four, had more gripping action type mm. stuff. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So I think this was mm. a, this was a quieter one. This is the one that according to the trivia, um uh, the, uh, what's the author's name? Can't think of his name. Uh, Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy. He says he dissociated himself from the production after reading the first draft. He was like, I don't want to be involved in what I, they're doing to my well, shit. And I, I get it. I read all these books back in the day. And, uh, you know, Tom Clancy books, especially the Jack Ryan books, they were all about the intrigue. They were all yeah, about yeah. the exchange mm. of information and people traveling halfway around the world to meet up with somebody that they'd never met before. And yeah. this guy, it's not really great film stuff, you yeah. know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a. Uh, I I spent the almost the entire movie waiting for them to say Patriot Games, and they never did. It <laughs> never yeah, did. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. not gonna play your Patriot Games. <laughs> I wish Let's they have would you have. drink in an Irish bar. That's right. You belong in a museum, Irish man. <laughs> um, I I really thought they would too because. I actually kind of have a weird memory that they did. I thought it was a yeah, thing yeah. where it it's, was called that because it's like, hey, um, you know, we all think in, 90, in 92, we are on the other side. And they were trying to express that with uh, with with um, Richard Harris's role and stuff. But we were on the yeah. other side of most of the problem over there. Right. And so yeah. it was now rebuild time, figure out common ground, all that stuff. And so... You know this idea that there are still factions that we're ready to rock and like like f this we're not we're not console you know we're not going to console this we're just going to go crazy and blow everything up that's all historically interesting but I guess I wasn't expecting them to make such cartoons out of these Irish <laughs> right. fighters yeah. like they yeah. were so yeah. ridiculous it felt like in a way it was like well you usually do this to the middle east so i guess this is par for the course for movies right right because that's how it felt all these guys were like cartoon versions of what the irish republican army was or yeah. what any of that conflict was and it kind of pissed kinda, me off yeah it was like annoying to me because the yeah. irish i like the irish they're nice they they, they kind of mm. distance themselves from trying to make too much of a statement by going oh this is a rogue faction yeah. of, right. of that splinter cell what yeah. another yeah. Uh, name of another book. tom clancy book yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> amazing i found the most have more games. the most the most fascinating part that i felt like maybe was the core i haven't read the book the core of it though was the representation of 92 none of us had really seen war fought from a war room right mm -hmm. so like like now we we're all used to the idea of attacking the enemy with a drone strike and that so surgical strike was fairly uh in the in the in this form was kind of new to to audiences so it was kind of fascinating to watch how that was portrayed and sure you know the the real emotional toll that, well, that killing somebody remotely sure kind of but feel. you know do you know who else's yeah. giant cartoons in this the everybody who was british everybody. my gosh yeah. dude <laughs> <laughs> right the like, queen's cousin i loved him he was such a <laughs> he was like the only comedy relief in this film yeah, right? like, jeffrey it please bring hilarious. me my thing jeffrey do the other thing it's jeffrey, jeffrey. and then Holmes. jeffrey i forgot jeffrey was the mole until kind of toward the end mm -hmm. uh, oh, even totally then i couldn't remember i'm like that's yeah. eh, just another english man well, I mean, you, you never would have found out because you walked out of the yeah, movie. You walked out. <laughs> that's true that's true I'm this time around <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's it's interesting because this okay so Harrison Ford obviously is in this um, he replaced Alec Baldwin now this I didn't know I had to go read about it I thought this was just like oh no we're just doing a new run of this and and it's later in his life so oh, it's we got a new actor but Alec Baldwin was slated to do it and backed out he didn't <laughs> want to do it so they had to bump the age from 35 which was what Alec Baldwin was playing in right. Hunt for Red October and bump it to putting Harrison Ford in his 50s he would have been 50 or 52 here or something and um and uh did that um did that you know made the made the time jump and all that which is part of why uh clancy didn't like how they were treating the script because they were trying to right. update it for time and all that yeah they um, absolutely and they absolutely just updated it they flat out updated it right. like the book is about an assassination attempt on charles and diana right and right. It, it was written in you know like 86 or something right right and so like you're making a movie several years later it doesn't they probably couldn't also needed to get like permission from the crown and they couldn't possibly but like it's a big change there's a huge update to yeah. to change it from yeah. the you know the royals at, you know themselves to uh their i don't know their their minister for northern ireland or something yeah. i guess i could understand why he'd be annoyed you know was was mm -hmm. this the vision of Philip Noyce? 
was this the director was this his vision of how it should go or was know. it was this more like a studio Screenplay. thing where it's like producers I mean, he didn't write it were kind of he just directed really yeah. it. the guy the writers are they give tom clancy of course credit he didn't write the screen yeah but w peter liff and donald e stewart did the thing i don't know who they are but right I, well Do- donald stewart's on all of these movies hunt for red october clear and present danger oh okay so he's their guy um, on that stuff did he do he the, could the just Affleck be a script advisor for Tom Clancy? Basically, just like the 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 go between dude for Tom Clancy to to represent him, so that he doesn't mm-hmm. have to sit in every meeting. Yeah. <laughs> just sit there and go write <laughs> with whoever, whatever writer they get to do the screenplay. I'm not going to another meeting. Forget it. It, it didn't feel like the movie necessarily had a vision. I think that was. I liked yeah. the movie overall this time around much more than I would have when I was a, a kid because there was a lot of mm-hmm. elements that were, you know, fascinating to me. Mm-hmm. As a, as a, I like slow scene. burn right. spy stuff. I, I'm a yeah. fan of that, but mm-hmm. I feel like this was just. I feel like there's been a time problem. It hasn't aged yeah. as well, and I think yeah. if I'd have been more of an adult in '92, I probably would have appreciated it more. I think it was right. it was well received at the time, critics and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But I just okay. I think it's some of it's aged weird. Part of it's like I see Sam Jackson and I go, oh, it's like the. That in that movie, uh, Captain Marvel, where they made him look younger again, weird. <laughs> you know, like it's hard for me to yeah. separate those two. I really like Ann Archer. I haven't seen yeah. her forever, so that's cool to see her. I saw a credit for someone named James Fox, and I went, "Is that what Jamie, Jamie Fox's Fox, name you was?" Jamie Fox too, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. did you? Yeah, I thought I, I thought too. it was like that pre, was like pre. Uh, I, I couldn't remember when Living Color was, so I was like, "Is that before yeah. all that?" And he didn't go by Jamie yet. Is he in this movie? I, Not some. That's what I was yeah. thinking. That would have brought so much more attitude to this film, and this film Body guard needed or something. Yeah. attitude. Yeah, we, there was We're no attitude. Thora Birch again, by the way. Yeah, Thora Birch. She's all yeah. over our film sack lately. Yeah, That's her for deal. Some reason, yeah. Uh, Wild. I want to. I just want to come back to what Dunaway just said. That the film didn't have a vision, because mm-hmm. I totally agree with it. And I was trying to imagine. Like, so my question here is, why do I think the sum of all fears is such a better movie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially when it doesn't star Harrison Ford anymore. Right? <laughs> He's he kind of aged out. And uh, the answer is it has a vision and that vision is stated by the characters or by the cinematography in a lot of cases. Right. You right. see, and, and, and I've said this before, there's this moment in Some of All Fears where uh, uh, Jack Ryan goes to like Israel or something to get some intelligence and he leaves uh, Liev Schreiber standing on a, in a rainy airport out in the rain and Liev Schreiber is just he looks so freaking miserable yeah. Yeah. you know and like the there's a story being told throughout this whole thing and you get that you know that story from James Cromwell and from Morgan Freeman and Philip Baker Hall and like they tell you the the movie tells you what it's about and this movie patriot games i'm like is this really about some family being assaulted in their own home mm, like yeah. that's pretty much much yeah. of a it's, it's a revenge story re- tit for tat kind yeah. of thing and it's, yeah. it's I, I guess it's a reflection of kind of how this you know how governments work it's like tit for tat here's did, did we overstep our bounds blah i don't know it just there was a film. moment there was a moment i wonder if you got this too done away where uh jack ryan goes back to the agency after having after having been you know severed from them at, yeah. at some point in the past he goes mm-hmm. back and the guy i'm forgetting the guy that is his main uh liaison goatee dude uh, or, yeah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and that guy uh uh he's he's just like no <laughs> no you can't you can't come back you yeah. don't belong here i don't yep. want you here and i was like oh maybe that's the vision of the movie the movie is about yes. that you can't return to hmm. the thing that you you know were that that kind of crushed you and so on yeah but then uh Darth Vader comes out and says, <laughs> and says, welcome home, basically, right? Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah. okay. So that's not the story. There's even, we're telling. Okay. There's even a scene I couldn't even figure out what they were trying to say. Like he was getting, uh, Harrison Ford was getting heated with, with, uh, the, by the way, the best goatee, just, mm, just beautiful. Um, <laughs> oh, that handler. goatee guy is a lord of goatees. Yeah. My gosh. And then, and yeah. then James yeah. Earl Jones is in an adjoining, adjoining room for some reason and pops up and goes, Hey, what's going on in here? Why are y'all yelling? No. Oh, okay. Bye. You were the process I was of like, telling him why was... he can't come back. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, it was just such a weird moment. That could have been the vision for the movie right there. Right. Don't right. piss off James Earl Jones. <laughs> and then <join> offices. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, never, never do that. Yeah. It's always I, good to I see I did him, feel though. like they wanted, just for a moment, they kind of, what we all recognize now is kind of like the John Wick story. It's like, they they pulled me back in. Mm, they've yeah. made it personal. 
Right. I've got to get back in this. And there was a scene where he first walks back into the field office uh, yeah. you know, where he had been an, an analyst. And I was like, okay, I feel like I'm missing some things. Like I haven't been close enough to the Jack Ryan character, especially not in this movie. Sure. We, we should understand. probably, we'll, we'll talk about this again, I think on our bonus episode that'll go up next week or not our bonus, but our, our discussion episode about action movies, because I feel like that script has been flipped lately. It's like you mentioned John yeah. Wick and John Wick style revenge films. So like mm-hmm. revenge films are as old as time. Like we've had them forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But they've, this is new. This is a new kind we do now. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And and yeah. so now we see stuff like that. And um, what was the Odin Kirk movie? Nobody. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nobody. You see oh, movies like great. that and, and you go, okay, awesome. New era, new era of this stuff. When you go back to something like this, where my family's in trouble or, you know, or whatever, <clears throat> it doesn't hit as hard as it does now. <laughs> Because it's just, it's a little more milk toast. It's just like, yeah. Well, it's, they bear- I think it's kind of, uh, John Wick feels like as thinly guised as what we all feel like every day, which is underappreciated for our skills. And it's like, <laughs> you always envision, oh man, if I got if I got fired and I had to come back and save y'all's asses, the, you know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah. best, kind of feels the best like scene that. in the movie for my money actually demonstrates that. he's right. He's gone back to, he's teaching. He's a professor at the U.S. Naval Academy. And he's, you know, he's like teaching some students and Samuel yeah. L. Jackson comes in and gives him a fake medal that makes that was, fun of oh, him. Yeah. yeah. Purple yeah. target. Like, the purple target. Like, okay, movie. Yeah. I yeah. see what you want me to think about these characters. <laughs> yeah. That kind of cracked me up. I don't know. I don't know. Like there are moments like that where I was like, ah, this is, this is fun. This is a good, yeah, it's a good time. But then there were times where I was like, oh my gosh, get on with it, dude. Like, yeah. You guys, yeah. man, Harrison Ford around. does a really good, uh, professor impression he did it well in <laughs> he Indiana does, Jones, does a lot, right? yeah, yeah. And he does it here and it's just like i'm buying it yeah, yeah. you know what he doesn't do he What's does that? not do a good impression of a lover in bed oh, my God. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah i felt uncomfortable that whole i felt really uncomfortable with the champagne scene where she like orders room service and the champagne comes i'm like first of all i'm like really tense i'm like oh no don't take the champagne that you didn't order. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then they, you know, they is make it, the is love. It just because we have a hard time seeing him with anybody but Princess Leia. Not maybe. <laughs> so. it's just it's like it's like when you know if your your parents get a divorce and you see them with other people, it's like no, yeah. it's not the same. I wonder if yeah. that was part of it. I mean, all but then, but then it also made me think because of his tryst with Carrie Fisher off off scene or off camera, right. um, which we all know about now. Uh, yeah. That. All I could picture was the way he was behaving here. I'm like, is that what he was like in real life? And was it? I think, I think Harrison Ford's <laughs> that, a very are those a very, his moves. Yeah, are those his sweet moves. moves. Yeah. yeah, I think Harrison Ford's a very considerate <laughs> lover. That's what I think. I just <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of boring. But I think yeah, I just you think know. I think uh, I see him with Karen Allen, and he's grabbing her around the waist, and then swinging like Tarzan with her, and <laughs> yeah. like that's my, that's my vision. For his yeah. lovemaking, yeah. You know? now, I, I never thought this yeah. would be the discussion. I'm bummed right. because I I wrote in my notes prediction. Scott will say that Harrison Ford kisses weird, and he's <laughs> not wrong. But you never did say it, and so I was like really oh, hoping I'd get it. to speak. So close. Speech I'm show. saying we it. all agree. And you know what it is? Yeah. yeah. All through that, all through that lovemaking scene in in the first part of the movie, uh, you look at their eyes, and right. um, what's her name? Ann Archer. Yeah. knows what to do with her eyes and Harrison Ford does not. He's You're like right. looking around sure. like he's so uncomfortable. Yeah. Ann, Arch, yeah. Ann Arch is very good at being smoldering, right? She's very good at that. Mm-hmm. She's awesome. I loved I used to yeah. she had a real yeah. moment in the nineties and I, I liked everything she did and I I don't know where what she does these days, but she's just a great leading lady. I thought she was awesome. Mm-hmm. So and good. she's good in this. Was she in the next one too? I guess she was in Clear and Present Danger, I think. She kept going. I think. Because you weren't wrong about the like the the sequel baby, the pregnant or whatever you said in your oh, song. Yeah, the, the baby, <laughs> Jack yeah. Ryan too. Yeah, that was that's a big part of that, if I remember right. Ah, oh, it's been so yeah, long. Yeah, and they and they do the they do the ending really weird with this movie with the whole like, all right, tell us the sex of the baby, and then it's just like a look at Harrison Ford's face and roll credits. Yep. I felt a little cheated that yeah. the I felt a little cheated that the baby didn't die. I felt a little I felt like there wasn't enough reason for him to be raging. You know, wow, it's like, okay. I mean, right. because even Sean Bean comes on and goes, oh, I really effed your life up, didn't I? Yeah. Now your daughter's going to make it harder to fight off infections. So it's like, okay, that's it. Yeah. That's your, that's your rage point. All yeah. right. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> that's funny. I, Gotta I, have something to fight for, man. And your daughter's spleen. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. 
Well, the spleen's important. Know. Look, you need your spleen. Yeah. Exactly. If they, 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 if yeah. they can take it out, do you really need it? Well, I don't know. Of Maybe. all of all the <sighs> useless organs, I, I say this is not an expert and not a doctor. None of us are. So <laughs> well, someone, oh God, someone's going to pipe no, in. That's no. You know what, yeah. Doctor Tolbert will tell us. But uh, I think you can live without your spleen these days. It may oh, be absolutely require oh, some yeah. medication yeah. or something that you need. But yeah, yeah, I think you don't. Oh, it's better to have it. But you know, it's kind of like having your gallbladder. It's, it's just kind of useless. No, it it is concentrates acid and it helps digest fats and that kind of stuff. It, but you can live without it. Yeah. Um, this uh, this yeah. movie had a bunch of characters, like not just the daughter uh, Thora Birch, but a bunch of characters where I just wanted a little tiny bit more exposition mm. around that character, like just because yeah. there's yeah. interesting actors. Um, and I'm specifically talking about Samuel L. Jackson, yes. James Earl Jones, Richard Harris actually got a lot of screen time, but I still wanted a little bit mm, more explanation yeah. and like mm -hmm. what, whatever's going on for him. I love and him. Polly Walker as the uh, the assassin of the of the group, like she's the right. right? She was. Oh, the, yeah. She's she's the woman with the long hair that. Yeah. That, because of that you know yeah. all, we, all we know about her is that she's a competent assassin and <laughs> yeah. she uh can she's lure got a man into bed before killing him <laughs> yeah she's got <laughs> cleavage you can see from space yeah is the only yeah. thing we know yep. oh, yeah and, I, and I just felt like i felt like man they're really giving these characters not a you know a, just like a short shrift they, they need yeah. more alex yeah. norton uh dennis cooley the book the, the bookkeeper book seller I, yeah yeah I, I wanted more of him and sean mean Sorry, just, dennis <laughs> It's such a it's such an awesome idea, and and Tom right. Clancy's full of these in all his books. This awesome idea of this guy who is uh, running a, a front out in public mm -hmm. for uh, arms purchasing, and yeah, his front is a bookstore, yeah. and so he's got to sit there all day, every day, and mm -hmm. actually sell books to strangers. <laughs> it's like he has two passions. Two yeah. passions. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I love that. And I hated they just killed him. They didn't really I mean he they they had a scene where he escapes, flies all the way to the camp. Right. Mm -hmm. And then Sean Bean just shoots yeah, him. Just also, shoots by him. the way, yeah, that's just weird. Yeah. That's uh, weird. Sean Bean, they showed him so many times. I wanted to do a supercut of every time they showed Sean Bean shooting a gun and killing somebody off screen. It, oh, was, it was it was a uh, over I don't know about overused, but they did it a lot in this movie. They did yeah. it a lot. Yeah. yeah. I really like Sean Bean and everything. This is the first exposure I ever had to him back in that, that yeah. those days. Yeah. I remember seeing this going, oh, yeah. oh this guy, he's, he's going places. And I think yeah. this is even, is this pre or post GoldenEye? It's pre GoldenEye, right? Yeah. GoldenEye came later. Uh, and that would be, that's where it cinched it. I was like, oh, okay, he's going to be in lots of stuff and he's going to be a dick and everything. I was wrong about that. He's a nice guy in lots of stuff. Still dies a lot, but. <laughs> Um, he still hates that. But it's weird to think that we are nine. This movie comes out. We're nine years away from his Boromir in uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. so Lord good. of the Rings, which doesn't seem right that 92 to 2001 is that short. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. bananas. Um, but I love him and his cool mullet and all that shit. Like, keep it up. Keep him, keep yeah. him alive at all costs. Protect him at all costs is if, what I'm saying. If you can be intimidating on screen. And then I did it kind of on screen with the court case where he's he leans over out of the uh, out of the booth and uh, he's talking to Harrison Ford. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was a yeah. good shot. Yeah, I like yeah. That. yeah. I feel like though, but I totally uh, knew where that anchor was going. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> had a feeling. You just kind of knew. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's, he's suspected. Yeah, yeah. he. Died. I don't know. How do you plan? There's no way he plans this. Okay, no, but his whole no. career, his whole career has been. <laughs> a series of deaths that are gnarly yeah. in every possible way. They drop a satellite on him in <laughs> Goldeneye. Yeah, right. He has he's he's drawn and quartered in that movie I can't remember the name of. He has his head cut off in Game of Thrones. Like all of these yeah. spoiler, all of these things. <laughs> it, it, I, I don't think he. Do you think he goes into these readings and goes, oh shit, look at this? I think page if he reads four. the script. I think he finds the character more compelling if they meet an end. Maybe he never wants to be in a sequel. Maybe that's the thing. Just love him so much, though. Yeah. So anyway, it's think, great to see. I him. think his agent calls him up and says, "I've got a great one for you. Yeah, you die in it, but uh, <laughs> you get a lot of screen time before you die." Yeah, yeah. And he got. I think he's in top, probably top three 
Lord of the Rings memes with the uh, one does not yeah. simply walk into Mordor with his finger. Yeah, the, the, the thing. chef's oh, kiss yeah. thing. Yeah, almost. yeah. Who else? The one where he's where he's gawking at the ring itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that was great. good too. Yeah. yeah, it's great. He's just great. I just want to celebrate him forever, and I'm glad he was in this well, movie and all that. We can't not mention Alan Armstrong if if Randy didn't mention him earlier. I don't know if he did or but crawl. We haven't seen him yep. since Crawl, right? Is that oh, the last shit. time we've seen him? Oh, we seen him? What? Oh, we saw him in The Saint. He's the, okay. he's the inspector back in England who uh, who says uh, that Elizabeth Shue, oh, oh she's gone and fallen in love with him. Oh, he's mm. in Van Helsing, too. Um, he's been here a lot. Who is it again? <laughs> what character? Or what actor? Uh, Alan Armstrong. I'm looking a- him up L- here. A- a- he's, the, he's the main investigator in, in London. Oh, yeah. okay. The one that he's was kind Owens. of a pain in the ass. Not not a pain in the ass, but it was just kind of oh, shit. Or, yeah. Or, 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 or. yeah, he's like shit. They found our camera. <laughs> ah, a little bark, little bark worm. <laughs> yeah, he was he was pissed. I knew he looked familiar, but I didn't know. I didn't realize we'd seen him so much. That's crazy. I've oh, seen him tons of times. Can't, apparently, can't spell his first name, but uh, yeah, <laughs> still with us, still around. I've never oh, seen yeah, yeah. anybody spell Alan A L U N, and I'm sure it's Alan or something, but. I can't say that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah you don't want to be doing feels like that. A, peri- something on the periodic table. Yeah. <laughs> Still doing some stuff. He's in, uh, he was in Breeders, <laughs> which was recent, 2022. It's a series. I don't know what that was yeah. about. Um, yeah. I like that guy. He does, he does yeah. good. He's, British. Oh, Tom Breeders. Is- I watched Breeders. Oh, yeah. it was a great show. Was Breeders good? I watched it's Breeders really every good. day. Yeah. It's, um, <laughs> oh, you talked about uh, this on the you know, on TMS. I, remember I have fully recommend recommended it. Yeah, super super sweet show. Like like even though it deals with some some issues of a couple that's really trying to have a baby, they can't, so they are working on adopting. No. And it's just got it stars the two most positive people that you'll <laughs> ever see in anything. Mm. Yeah, um, then you, I guess he's the. Oh, it's Martin Freeman. Yeah, oh, Martin man, Freeman, yeah. Daisy yeah. Haggard. Yeah, they're great. Oh, <laughs> no, you know what I'm thinking of? What are you thinking <laughs> You're watching something else. I'm thinking of trying. Breeders, I also recommend to them. Oh, yeah. my God. They're yeah. so, there are a couple that already has children, and they are hateful. And oh, it's great. It's a really funny the show. So the opposite. They're, they're the most hateful people. people. The least positive people. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because we... It's the same. It, yeah, same, like, British <laughs> British TV series. And, we, and Tina and I made the mistake of watching them either, not really back-to-back, but kind of... Right. Uh, yeah, I guess we no, we watched them concurrently because they were coming out with new episodes every week. <laughs> okay, yeah, wow. <laughs> but yeah, Daisy Haggard. I mean, she. Uh, I don't know uh, what is she is so damn compelling to watch. Yeah. She's just so great. She's great. Yeah, I like her a lot. Yeah. Um, I wrote that on a list of things to watch and still haven't watched it. <laughs> Readers, and then the other one is trying. So uh, watch them, and you'll find one is like the the polar opposite <laughs> show. Just watch both. Uh, yeah. It's just funny that I yeah. conflated the two. Oh, I love it's this. Fun. Check this out. This is, I didn't realize this. Yeah. During the shooting of the climactic fight scene between Ryan and Miller on the boat, Harrison mm-hmm. Ford accidentally injured Sean Bean by a blow oh. to the boat hook, leaving a oh. bleeding cut. The resulting scar was later used for Bean's title character in Sharp, 1993, <laughs> and they enhanced it with makeup. So I guess he's got a big You're welcome, scar on that. says Harrison Ford. <laughs> yeah. Right? Now they <laughs> both have a career, weird... buddy. And he, Harrison Ford, famous for having a weird... Scar on his yeah, chest. Scar scar. His chin. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little check mark down there. One like of a, us. I heard One he got that uh, while he was uh, using his whip against a lion in a uh, train car <laughs> as a child. <laughs> right. Yeah. No. You know, Indiana, when they set up yeah. every single Indiana Jones thing in the space yeah. of two minutes. It's oh, my, it's, now I'm mad. It's, it's the I'm one part of that mad. movie I don't like. It's the one part. Everything yeah. else about oh, but, but you get to see Phoenix there percent. for a minute. Just, just I miss him. No, listen. Yeah, I like. I, I, he was great and everything. And his brother carries on. It's all good. Yeah, I'm just saying things. that's a dumb way to set your movie up. I hated it. Basically, it's like you get the origin of why he doesn't like snakes, why he has a hat, why he has a whip, why he has why a scar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of it. All Finally, it. it's all answered. Yeah. It doesn't right. explain like if, why he doesn't if he kiss well. If he would have been solid on that train, I think it would have <laughs> kept him. He had to fell down and looked at a picture of his dad, yeah. John Connery. Yeah, he's yeah, seen a little, little Egyptian kid in one of the cars who says, right. bad dates, and then he just runs past him. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> before, we, before, we leave, before we leave Sean Bean, I just yeah. have a question. I just wrote down. Sure. It's a, it's, this is a movie about um, some Northern Irish terrorists who are trying to uh, capture, not necessarily kill. They want to capture the British Minister of State, right? For yeah, Northern right, Ireland, right. I think so. Right. Yeah. Uh, take uh, maybe five minutes of the movie is in Northern Ireland. Oh, like it yeah. does not really take place there. No, but 
you have uh, Patrick Bergen, who's Irish. You have Richard Harris, who's high Irish. Yeah. And they really, they really kind of play that up. Sean Bean, not Irish. No. How yeah, we, yeah. How yeah, do we Englishman. feel? He's how do fine. We feel about him? Do we feel like he? Oh, he's fine. He, I think he did okay. As not, an American, I gotta say his Irish accent was spot on. Yeah. As an American, is it as an American. more like you know? It's less like an Australian playing an American. It's more like a Canadian playing Amer an American, right? Oh, like yeah. the, the, you know, they're adjacent, the, right? They're close they're, by. Yeah. Divide between you know Northern Ireland and uh, Ireland. I right. wonder if the time in 92, again, we're close enough to that conflict if some people were mad they hired a British guy to be in it. It's interesting. Guy, That's yeah. I kind of thought about that, too, because, yeah, they, they handled this very carefully because that was a, that was a real flame spot. Oh, yeah, big time. That, time that, was still, some, so. that was some rough business. I still say the yeah. best uh, portrayal entertainment wise of that time is uh, Dairy Girls. I just love the way they handle all of it. Mm. Yeah. Have yeah. you have you seen the movie Belfast though, right? I still mm. haven't seen Belfast. I hear oh, it's great. Oscar winner from a couple mm -hmm. years Never ago. It. Yeah. It's great. The black and it feels really like good. black and white it, thing. There's like uh yeah, the black and white. It's like there it feels like there's there's sets that they used <laughs> in uh, in that that they built for this, that they built for Patriot Games, even though they didn't, but right. it just feels like it's right. I need uh, to finally see that. I don't know what why I'm I, 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 no reason i just haven't i just never get it's like parasites it's like oh it's it'll be there i'll yeah. get to it yeah. mm -hmm. i'm not gonna push you to watch belfast so feel free to watch it <laughs> should i watch easily. should i watch the irishman just because we're talking about irish stuff Is that oh uh, yeah you no mean the miniseries because... that uh the the martin scorsese four-hour yeah. miniseries yeah, yeah the, that's the one that's the one should this, i watch that this the scorsese i needed to pee three times during that film movie. <laughs> exactly. that's a movie that i want to watch but i just i'm like when the hell am i going to be able to sit down for four hours well, don't go in expecting so any Irish. Like don't like expect any have. Irish shit. By the way, it's got nothing to yeah. do with Ireland at all. Oh, it yeah. does it? Nothing. I, no, I, it's a mob um, story about Jimmy Hoffa and who killed him and all that. It's nothing about. Okay. It's. I think it's my least favorite Scorsese film. Really? That's um, hilarious. Oh, I but like I it more. I don't than really that. have a Scorsese, Scorsese film that I don't like. But what's his um, new thing he's doing? He's doing something. new. Oh, his right? new he's one sounds great. I've heard nothing but killer stuff about the new one. Something of the Monkey Moon or something. Killers of the Flower Moon. That's it. Okay, Monkey Moon. I want there to be monkeys. Dang it! I know. I want it to be like the Umbrella Academy. Come on. Yeah, he's he's. This sounds like, from all accounts, this might be his one of his best ever. It might maybe his last. He's getting close to being done. I'm just saying, you still have time. You have plenty. It's not coming out till October. You have time to read the book. It's a David Gran book. It's good. Okay. You like it? I really want to read this book about Patriot Games because I feel like there's some really good stuff there that just never had a chance to be explored. And mm -hmm. the fact that Tom Clancy hated this tells me that the book is probably like Oh, that. this is the movie that, sorry, I, I'm, I'm literally moon, derailing moon, moon your pullback. Moon to the flower moon for just a moment. Just for a second. But I was I couldn't remember what the role was Jesse Plemons lost all his weight for. This was it. This was the Oh, one. really? Right. Okay. I got all skinny for it. Here's a picture of him in it. Um, I'll stick it in there. Anyway, right. sorry, this is what it looks away. like podcast listeners. Well, yeah, this is what life looks like. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> Fat Damon, less Fat Damon. Yeah, he's less looking <laughs> looking real thin. But I've heard nothing but screaming quality I mean, awesome. Yeah, he, he can play an asshole. I love him. It's funny because this is, isn't this the first, like his two big stars that Scorsese always seems to work with are DiCaprio and De Niro. Yeah, and they're in it. Is this the first time that they've shared the lead? Um, No, if you, oh, actually, you know what? I was, you know what I was thinking of before was, uh, the 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 Boston one, um, uh, the Departed. Departed. That was uh, yeah, Nicholson. Nicholson uh, and uh, DiCaprio. But I would say I think you might be right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go plausible. I think you're right. I actually think you're right. Uh, John Lithgow's in this. That's cool. Oh man, Brendan Fraser right off I of know. his. Uh, he's yeah, his he's hot right now. Yeah. Uh, hot. Do you think they answer, put him in another answer fat to suit? Question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got we got three movies. That they've oh, been really? Where the two of them are together? Right. So This Boy's Life, which yeah, you know, yeah. Leonardo right. DiCaprio is the boy, stars Robert De Niro oh, right. in 1993. Okay. Yep. Marvin's Room in 1996 uh, has DiCaprio and De Niro. <laughs> and then, you in the face? Well, you were, uh, you were right and, in that. They, the, made, a, they yeah. made a short film together in 2015 called The Audition. Okay. But This mm -hmm. Boy's Life is the only one of those that's... Um, oh, that's not... And that's not uh, Scorsese. Yeah, you're, just, you're saying called... Scorsese film, right? I'm saying Scorsese film. Yeah, I but, think this might be um, it. But I would have, I, I still would have, I'm still surprised that they have done other things uh, things together. Oh my gosh, Brian, uh, look who's in this. Sturgill Simpson is in this. Oh, 
Ooh. Get out. Really? Oh, that's cool. And not just like as an actor, huh? Not yeah. as uh Oh, wow. Are you still talking about Killers of the Flower? No, Flower he is. Yeah. yeah, he is an actor in it. He plays somebody called Henry Grammer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so not just as a contributing music. He might probably even still be contributing music, but as an actor. Yeah. Cool. The reason, nice. we're, well, the reason we're so excited about Killers of the Flower Moon is that it has Brenton yeah. Fraser. Let's let's yes. all. Well, yes. yeah, he's he he's in a fat suit, and uh, it's great. I'm just kidding. He's not. He's not doing <laughs> it's that. called a weight. Uh, enhancement costume <laughs> oh sorry no no he he like that was his thing during his whole press tour thing after doing the whale he would he would stop any interviewer that called it a fat suit and say it wasn't a fat suit we don't want we don't want to call you know don't don't want to make it seem like we're making fun of fat people so it's a weight enhancement costume <laughs> <laughs> now i feel offended <laughs> now I... <laughs> As uh, someone who wears costumes, I'm right. really offended. I'm really mad. I'm really offended. Yeah. Wow, nine point five out of ten so far. All right. Anyway, back to Wow, boy, what this this Patriots game has really started a lot of conversations. It that sure has involved the Patriot game. It sure has. It's an amazing movie yeah. for that. It's a conversation starter. Yeah. Uh by the way, there's a line in here. The line there's never been an a, a terrorist attack on American soil was included in trailers oh. for the movie. However, it was left out of the theatrical release because it sounded too much like an invitation or a dare, they right. said. Uh, oh, there's that, never been one. Come on, bring it, bitches. Yeah, bring it in. And then we got one not long after, not 9-11, but the one where they blew up no, the, the one, bus. No, the other tower attack, right? Yeah, yeah they in blew the, up in the, the parking in a, garage. Yeah, not a bus. It was right. just a car, I guess. But up in the parking garage, that wouldn't be too far. But also, I would argue that, what was it, 95, the Murrah uh, FBI federal building explosion, that was a domestic terrorist attack, but that's yeah. still a terrorist yeah. attack. A lot of people don't count it, but I do. Mm. Uh, <laughs> but I do. I'm going to make, make this hard stand. <laughs> I'm going to make this hard stand and say I think that was a terrorist attack. You right. <laughs> okay. um, Interest you in another hey, opinion? Uh, no. Nope. What do you think grossed me out? You got any? Uh, you got any thoughts oh, there? Oh, it wasn't. Uh, was it? So it was not. Was it uh, Kissy Spaces? Kiss? Okay. No, yeah. no yeah. it was worse yeah. than that. I thought. Let's just say it was really? early, er, early ish. Oh, there, so. there's somebody's hands in somebody's mouth, aren't there? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's always default but that did not happen that yeah, i'm aware of happen. unless okay. i missed it hilarious. i might have missed thought it of, of having soup at an archer an archer's house and pulling out a huge <laughs> long hair because boy did, oh. she have some, boy did she have some hair <laughs> no it was Ooh. not that um any other guesses anyone have I'm any idea to think of what happened in the beginning there's no there's not very much it's organic early. i won't say beginning it's more yeah. it's early on i'll say it's not beginning but okay. early-ish and I'll say it had. Yeah, to, it had is it is it is it face on the road or anything like that? Is no, because there's a couple of faces on the. No, no, no? that's fine. Mm. It's all fake. Who cares know. about that? I, for for my money, it's when uh, he testifies in the the trial in London. Um, for some reason, every person in there wearing a wig, I just felt like, oh, that must stink. I don't know <laughs> why. The whole place stinks. You know, realized, there's no air. I realized they could just wear cologne, but I I didn't feel like they did. No. That doesn't like make it better. Held. Yeah. Cologne or B.O. is not corn, equal. Cornstarch. No. That's what they it do. Musk. Um, I'll give you, I'll tell you. Gross. It was when the the lady wearing a wig, she didn't have her red hair on, and she's with the higher up, hair, freaking oh, very yeah, hairy you, man. The guy about the condoms. You're not know, trying oh. to make me aware of rubber, are you? She licks that guy from like. Oh, of course. Leg, yeah, right leg to neck. And I was just like. From yeah. lip to seam. Damn. Mm -hmm. That was foul. <laughs> Stem to stern. Yeah. <laughs> totally foul. I kind of forgot about that scene. Or yeah. block it out. I don't know why you write that down. Because I know at the time I thought, oh, this is going to gross Scott out. Yeah, it got me. Real bad. By the I way, did not want to look away from the screen because um, how about? here's my note. I, here's the note I wrote. I wrote, I wrote gross colon licking that dude all the way up his hairy body is what I wrote. <laughs> I don't think I was actually able to look at it fully. I think I actually kind of looked away. From did you turn away? Really? All right. All right. I don't blame you. It's bad. Yeah. I remember. I remember going, oh, what are they doing here? Oh, You're not going to make me wear a rubber, are you? Yeah. Let me know when it's over. <laughs> yeah, somebody poke me when this is done. I mean, what grossed me out was their poor uh, playing of the game Monopoly. Uh, nope, that was, oh, that yeah. was English Monopoly. That was English Monopoly. Okay, no, was it now? Still, you still have to have uh, four houses on a property before you can put a hotel on it. And if you have yeah. three properties and one of them has a hotel, the other ones that have houses better have four houses each, and they didn't. Nope, nope. I was busy 
tuning in later for the Game Boy action that was going on the front porch. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I know that. Yeah. Like, yeah, that wasn't just a fat thing. Was almost thirty five XX. No, that no. was almost as big as Thora Birch herself. It was. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> what do you think she was playing? That I tried to make out the little sounds it was making. It was hard. I couldn't. Yeah, tell. yeah, She's I couldn't make a it game out either. Where there's a, a little plastic bag uh, floating <laughs> around, being carried by the wind, and uh, you have Aww. to control it. Oh, oh I see a nice American did. Beauty. Oh, yeah, I see what was. you did there. Thank you, thank you the very only, much. Thank you. The only nice beautiful American Beauty reference. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just want to. I just want to jump back to the Monopoly thing because it is yeah. in the list of goofs for Patriot really? Games. On oh IMDb. no way, really? Also, yeah, there's a whole, eye, whole paragraph. You can just feel a board game geek sitting here typing out. Yeah. Everything wrong. My first complaint about the movie, yeah. although uh, uh, like they, it was just me like two minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> they identified what was wrong with the board. Like he it was like it says yeah. someone typed out, "You cannot build a hotel on the Strand with only two houses on the Trafalgar Square." <laughs> yeah. Every oh everybody God. knows you don't play Monopoly by the Monopoly rules. Everybody's got house I mean, rules. Everybody knows yeah. that. Every director, you know, says no one's ever going to pay attention to this. We're just going to, yeah. you know, 20, 2023 will never come about and people will not be on the Internet. It, it literally says everything. here, it literally says here, the rent for landing on Oxford Street with a hotel is twelve seventy five, <laughs> not eleven hundred. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> wow. Uh, that's the difference between the second edition and fourth edition. They changed it. <laughs> <laughs> actually that leads into a thing i wanted to say real quick i just put it in our discord but there's this yeah. trend of uh this happens with tom clancy books in general but there's this trend yeah. when you do reprints you put whoever the most recent yeah. jack oh, ryan that. is and so oh, this is wow. hunt, this is hunt for red october and john krasinski's on the cover yeah um that's weird <laughs> it's weird to do that i i when you i'll say that i thought oh my god are they do are they rebooting hunt for an october with krasinski uh now that he's played the character? i am i, I definitely do not buy any paperback book that uses the movie covers for the books uh, i will not buy a book with a movie cover not a fan that's not a movie yeah. cover that's like a newly drawn that's a that's that's an illustration of uh could be a movie poster i'm not buying it well okay you don't want it what, what I, you're I saying want a couple is... of hot guys painted in oil with long hair you well, know like all right yeah yeah, that's so, the only kind of books I buy. Now that means that, all right, did they they re-released uh, re it with Alec Baldwin on the cover. They re-released it with uh, yeah, Harrison, Harrison Ford, on Ford on the cover. cover. Did, wasn't there another guy who played Jack Ryan between... Yeah, uh, Ben Affleck. 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 Yeah. Black. Affleck, of course, yeah, right. How, yeah. Like, like, yeah. And then there was a, wasn't there year. one... Another TV show one. Right. Is what I'm thinking, right? Yeah, what was the... Uh, oh, shit, who was that? I'm uh, looking at it. Oh my Chris gosh. Pine. Oh, that's I'm right. Sure Chris the, Pine for a yeah. hot second. That's right. I'm sure the I'm sure the logarithms say this works, but it doesn't work for me. You yeah. know what they should have done? If logarithms. They get Baldwin <laughs> for the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. What they should have done is had him film the intro where he stops the stops the uh, attack uh, outside Buckingham Palace, and then when he blacks out uh, after being shot, he wakes up as Harrison Ford. Oh, right. Wow. I like that'd this. Be, that'd be the way to do I it. I like this. Yeah, or do it, do it, um, impossible, Mission Impossible style. You just mask everybody, and then their new mask is who they <laughs> are. They rip off their mask. <laughs> yeah. I was Harrison Ford the whole time. Yeah, I like that. And I, now I belong in a museum. Um, let's see. Uh, there's another a little trope I found here that I don't know. You know, maybe Randy has an actual reference to this, but it's uh, the mom and the kid can take down train terrorists who have better yes. equipment than they do oh, yeah. in yeah. the dark. Yeah. But yeah. she can't drive for the shit. Anyway, no. no, God, she like she just gives up so easily and runs right into that guardrail. Yeah. And she could yeah. so easily turn left, right, anything. Avoid yeah, she would yeah, have anything. not that that accident. Like when they got to the hospital and everyone's like, "Is she okay?" And I'm like, "Why is no one yelling at the mom for that shit drive move she did?" <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Gosh, dang, this that is, was bad. This is not a complaint, by the way, but I did notice. <laughs> I couldn't help noticing that there were highway scenes and there were estate scenes. That were clearly filmed in California. There oh, was yeah. no doubt. Hell yeah! Like oh, more sure. than once, more than once in the background of a shot, I spotted a palm tree, 
and they're supposed mm. to be in Maryland. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like like there was no doubt that all of the beach boats and rappelling scenes were filmed in California. Yeah. Absolutely right. no yeah, doubt. Yeah, they they didn't and, bother cutting any of that background out. It seemed like it was all just there. I in fact I assumed when I in the car chase scene, I was like, boy, this is crazy to do this in LA. This is nuts. And then my brain went, This isn't supposed to be in LA, Scott. Why do you think it's LA? Because it looks just like LA. That's no, why. It looked like it's, LA. Uh, there were there were the main highway car chase looked like it was out of Matrix Three. And it did really <laughs> okay i yeah. was so annoyed too with the van the black van whipping in and out of traffic i'm like oh yeah you can't do that it's not how that works it's <laughs> not how that works <laughs> when you take yeah, your man. black van through traffic you know it's a different yeah, not experience. like that it's stupid yeah. by the way i posted the link to the original book covers and the movie reissue covers that ruined them on ranker because apparently i'm not the only person who hates when they do this wow crap. there's a lot of them yeah Oh, look Charlie at this. Andy. Wow. Yeah. 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 Holy but yeah, shit. if you're a listener, ranker.com, look for original book covers and the uh, movie reissue covers that ruin them. Yeah. Cloud My Atlas is pretty bad. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. That, that font for Cloud Atlas on the original is really cool. Yeah. Oh, they ruined The Hobbit. The Hobbit was such a good old cover. And now they got. Yeah. Oh, no, they, do they, they did that the... thing with the Great Gatsby, that, that uh, picture, the blue face with the tear. They yes. actually put That's that a, into the movie God. as a as like a mural that they drive yeah. by on a wall. It's uh, such a great cover too, it and is. Yeah. and then they replaced it with DiCaprio, a bunch of gold inlay stuff. Yeah, Dumb. I mean it's fine for a movie poster. I just don't like that book change. And then yeah. when they when they write on these, every single one of these has now a major motion picture. Oh, yeah. I hate that crap. Yeah. I don't like it either. <laughs> I don't like it either. Boy, that iRobot oh, one's kind of sad. I don't like that. Yeah, no, oh, it's really bad. Will Smith coming out of a big giant <laughs> eye. That like that bit the first one still isn't a very good book cover, but <laughs> no, it's not great. It's not great. It's just a robot stiffly standing worse. there, yeah. right? Yeah, well, and the, it's, it feels like he's off kilter too, like he's gonna fall over. I don't yeah. like it. <laughs> I don't think I. I don't have too much complaints for the one that's the uh, Cormac McCarthy's The Road because that has nothing on the cover. It's just a black cover. Yeah. And now this one has people in I it. I missed my black cover. I can't believe y'all put something on it. <laughs> that, that, cor- crap. that Cormac McCarthy voice <laughs> that you've yeah, been it. workshopping. That's pretty good. That's much bullshit. It's interesting that they kept the hands with the writing on it for the extremely loud and uh, incredibly close. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. weird, right? Yeah. Now a major motion picture, Brian. <laughs> what? <laughs> now a major motion picture, sweet. Uh, What else? Um. I don't know. That's all the notes I have. Do you guys have anything else for this oh, thing? God, I've got, let's see here. Um, staying late at the CIA, CIA while your family is in the hospital means that the new goldfish are also going to die. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, Blade Runner photo system. His zoom and enhance. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Just like what he does in Blade it's, Runner when he's looking for Roy Batty. Yeah. The, it's uh, so funny. Because now we're getting to a place where AI is actually making it possible. And we've always rolled our eyes at the thought. It's like, that's so stupid. No, I love it. I love this because new movies movies are going to do it. It will be realistically done and it will be literally possible and we won't be able to complain about it anymore. (laughs) But it did remind me a lot of any time they represented uh, research. Like movies at a certain time, the technology for researching stuff was people looking at microfish and microfilm. Yeah, yeah. And this kind of had that with the uh, w- with the microscope. It's like, oh, we got to get our microscopes out. Looking at this. Cameron, yeah. look at this. Yeah. Looking at it. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, fun to do. When they do it in the movies now, in the future, it's going to be, all right, zoom in and hence. Zoom in and hence. There's our killer. Go get yeah. that guy. He's got 11 fingers on one hand. He should be really easy to find. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True story. Not a problem. So we're a ways away. Mm-hmm. We're a ways away. So you're hitting a piece of trivia that I, uh, oh. if I was Scott, I would put scrutiny on. I don't know. Oh, well, let's play um, it. Let's do it anyway. Why not? Scrutiny. All right. The scene in which Jack Ryan zooms in on and moves around to different parts of a satellite photograph. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, someone claims was made to be like an homage to Blade Runner. Oh, they okay. really did. Okay. They really intended to. Oh, that wild. Way. Yeah, because it felt like it. That, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Even even right down to the doo, 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 little square, and then the square <laughs> yeah. goes bigger, and then a new little square. Doo, 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 yeah, doo, 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 the way they crop is weird though, because it was like a lower L shape right. and then a right. higher. You first shape. you do two sides, and yeah. then you do the other two sides. <laughs> it was weird. Yeah. But then I was thinking, oh, this is ninety two. I got a three eighty six. I'm playing uh, Doom yeah. on it, or no? I'm playing <laughs> Wolfenstein. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. 
Speaking of, right. Dune, there was Dune's Barry reference. It was like, oh, no yeah. one Dunesbury. understands what that's right. about in 2023. <laughs> Dune's Barry cartoon. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. It feels like there's there's definitely a, a gap, though, right? Like, the, I, th- I think some Gen Xers on the lower end side maybe remember Dune's oh, Barry yeah. pretty well. But Oh, wait, yeah. In, yeah. In 92, we got it. In yeah. 2023, rewatching this on Paramount Plus by a young person probably gonna, mm. oh yeah no if you're 25 to, and you hear dunes berry that's a comic strip yeah right <laughs> i had to think a little bit to conjure up you know uh build Newspaper. a cat oh yeah, yeah, yeah there you go yeah. Ack. yeah and also Ack. uh sean bean's character can you do that in a prison cell can you just get the local paper with the crime that you were uh, convicted of and put that i don't on think so you can turn that into a that... turn that into a shiv or something can you, yeah okay. i don't know <laughs> You probably more likely turn that into toilet paper. That's a good point. Uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But even just like, I don't know. It also looked like freshly printed on white. It didn't look like a real newspaper. Something about it bugged me. Yeah. I didn't like it. So maybe it, dis- maybe it disintegrates. It's like, ah, the prisoner's not going to use this to get out of here. In five minutes, this will self destruct or some bullshit like that. <laughs> uh, anybody else got anything uh, big? Uh, I, I wrote down dusk vision goggles because uh, oh, they, yeah. they don't work. Uh, you can use them at dusk. You don't have to use them at night. Right. Just dusk vision. Right. But they're always such a great thing when the lights come on, then the guy's blind. Right. And and of, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, and then, and of course, hair, I was. That's the connection. Oh, yeah. And of course, I always try to overthink everything. And I was trying to figure out what the, uh, what, what the, uh, the surgery for the eye surgery that scene that was going on with the wife and she oh, yeah, was yeah. she was i was like oh, oh, yeah. this is comparing this to the surgical strikes everything i was like i was like shut up ryan yeah and i put in my notes stop it yeah stop you it, gotta stop, stop it. It. yeah because you it. think rain means something in minority That's report right. for example it's, for it an is example. a theme well what's the theme it was why why this theme mm-hmm. why not just why not eating chocolate yeah whatever she was uh, very different than the eye doctor who did my surgeries in my eyes when I had the uh, early cataracts removed. He played Stairway to Heaven the whole time. Nice. And and didn't say a word. Am really. I going to die, sir? Yeah. <laughs> it was just Stairway to Heaven and him being quiet. And then eight minutes later, my eye was weird. Yeah. When I, wow. When weird. I got uh, when I had surgery to repair my compound fracture in my right arm. Uh, I remember the anesthesiologist came in and said, Hey, we're going to put on some music and uh, the surgeon will do whatever he wants once you're asleep. But until you're two years sleep, you can pick. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm in severe pain. Just put on something and he put on Garth Brooks and the song, like (laughs) it stuck with me. You know, I've been friends with low <laughs> play or what? Low low play. Play. Yeah, right. Yeah, it, was, it was more. It was more like uh, the the song. Well, what's the song? I don't know. Uh, the dance. Thunder rolls. Oh, the oh, da- yeah. That's right. Oh, the dance. What I about was... what about thunder? Thunder rolls would have been fun. That'd have been good program yeah, good. stuff. That yeah. was good. Like when the rain was coming down, everything was so convenient in this movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. there should be a rainstorm right now. Oh, Harrison yeah. Ford's character should be walking by as a terrorist attack is happening. There's yep. a lot of yeah. Patty O'Neill yeah. is so conveniently local to yeah. uh, Jack Ryan where he lives in Baltimore. Yeah. Like yeah. he he didn't have to go all the way to Boston to meet Crazy. with Patty O'Neill. Yep. <laughs> you know? all the, all it's all Patty O'Neill. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was also having trouble in this movie. I wrote this down. Just because I was like trying to figure it out, it's like, oh, I'm having a little trouble feeling for Ann Archer uh, when Sean Bean is take, uh, chasing her on the on the highway yep. in his little black van yep. when she's driving away in her Porsche. Yeah, and I was like, and then I was like, uh, plus they live in a freaking mansion. It was really hard for I mean, me. To you feel. were annoyed that the that uh, that the that this position in government uh, affords them so much, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, uh, yeah, it was just like government work feel... shouldn't pay so much, is what you're saying. It, well, yeah, well, he doesn't get them. Obviously, she's the you know, she's the big money she's the big money person, right? Because oh, because she's, she's the doctor, right? Yeah. yeah, she's the doctor doing that surgery room. Holy, that was a big surgery room. What yeah. was that at? Yeah, that it was theater. Yeah. That yeah surgical theater that was in there that you got to get your eyeballs big. done you got to go into the big yeah. one the big room hell yeah I, uh, I have one last uh trope that i wrote down oh let's it's, let's uh, push that button it's a brick joke did anybody notice the brick joke in this movie brick from the movie brick or a brick like I don't a, know. Brick? A, a brick joke is when you uh have somebody at the in the first frame dropping a brick off the top of a very tall building and then you forget about it and then way way okay. later the okay. brick smashes into something and oh like, no what oh, happened? Oh, that's funny. I missed that. What, what, when did what that scene happen? was it where there was beginning a big... Of, yeah, beginning of the, the movie, uh-huh. uh, Harrison Ford is talking on the phone to the housekeeper, 
and it's like, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Got the fish. Oh yeah. no, we forgot the fish. Oh yeah, and he's like, he's about like that. you know what? Maybe just go get some other fish. And there was and there was payoff there. Yeah. But then yeah. they, the girl it, said, "Wow, you got big." Yeah. yeah, yeah. But also, but I think Ibbett's point is correct about all the other things that ended up happening. It just meant you got to go get more fish. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's yeah, they they might as well just get a, a frequent uh, goldfish <laughs> card at the pet store. And just, <laughs> Ooh, you're, you've got nine, one more, and your tenth one's I free. I love that idea that, that <laughs> families go through so many fish the kid never knows, and they got to be on a plan. That's really good. Yeah. Oh I my did gosh. really love the scene where they're kind of – where, where uh, Harrison Ford has done everything that is in his abilities to control, and he's got to wait. And then he reads uh, the, the Seuss book mm. that's all about – you know, being inside, raining and waiting. I loved that parallel. That was probably my, mm. I was most charmed by that scene, mm. uh, how they filmed that. That was actually yeah, it was all right. really, the heart. It was I right. really appreciate that this movie made Maryland look nice because there's there's only two <laughs> kinds of, of film and TV shows in, in Maryland. Yeah, they make right. they either make Maryland look like the hell on earth yeah, or a really kind of yeah. nice place to be. Yeah, yeah. I could see it. It looked nice. <laughs> I could totally see that. Um, all right. Well, in let's the, get in the final scene. Yeah. I just one last thing. Final scene. We don't find out what the baby sex is. Nope. I was kind of annoyed. Yep. And it kind of wasn't important. But it's then not I important was annoyed at all. that I was annoyed by it. Well, you're yeah, annoyed because no they made it seem it. It, it made it seem like it was supposed to be important and then left you hanging. Yeah. And that's yeah. why it seemed important. Yeah. And that sucks. That's we got yeah. we got um yanked around for for that. We did. Yeah. yeah. Don't exactly. like it. I know some movies, a lot of movies do this, right? They have this weird little hang at the end, yes. and then you're done, and then you oh we'll I mean, wait for the I, sequel. But you gotta be careful doing that these days because you could have a movie that's a total clunker and uh and you're never gonna get a sequel, so you're setting up your audience to like you. Know, Ooh, can't wait to find out, and they never do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we gonna? And maybe we'll watch Clear and Present Danger, and we'll go. Wait, where's the follow through? Where's the right? Like, does oh, it if that movie up? does not open with the first line being "It's a boy," <laughs> <laughs> you know, the doctor pulling the baby out. This going, is it's a boy. No, this is what they need to do. They need to pop in on his face exactly where he was before yeah. after he asked, yeah. Yeah. and then have blue starchy uh powder blow right in his face just like <laughs> nice nice like That's he right. just got the gender <laughs> reveal, the gender reveal. reveal. Party. Yeah. terrible that would be amazing uh, <laughs> i don't think they do i would have remembered that all right uh let's get That's to some you. uh some clips we have clips for this film sure. and uh they're fine fine clips okay fine clips uh, let's start with uh, the goldfish deal. And listen, we completely forgot about Sally's goldfish. If by some miracle they're still alive, we have feed them and change that. the water. And, um, Mom will make my move, honey. My move in the Monopoly? That's what, yeah, my mom will yeah. make my move. There's no move. I mean, there's a oh, move, I mean, but... He has to roll his dice. What, is she going to roll for him, too? Oh, this movie sucks. Why yeah. are you even playing that game? Jeez, Louise. <laughs> in his defense... Monopoly is a really long game. You can't expect me to be engaged at long. It's partly why I hate it. Partly. Yeah. Uh, here's a here's this thing where I, I have a question about what's this music. So here. Come on, let's go. It's just so every time they yeah, showed Irish stuff, Horner it was like. Yet, but, yeah, Horner did this, and at the beginning, <laughs> it it's a really interesting. It's I I want to go back and listen some more. It's really interesting the musical choices he made. I would listen to it outside of the film as well just to kind of see it's, you know it's yeah. really close to breaking news music yeah when the, yeah. yeah this just in this just uh, in yeah terrorists <laughs> try to kill games yeah uh all right something about tearing someone's heart out i'd tear your heart out and serve it up to you with chips if i didn't know you'd enjoy it you fenian bastard <laughs> he's great dude <laughs> By the way, the chips are potatoes, <laughs> the potatoes. not the chips you serve. Those are crisps. That's right. Yeah. We don't put ketchup on our chips or our crisps. Uh, here's a... Oh, I don't know what this is. Here it is. Talk to him. And hold your temper. Oh, the Irish, every time they were all hanging uh, around, skeeving. It was just like, uh, ah, listen here. You don't know what you're getting into I'm, there, patio manual. I want to go to that bar. <laughs> Patio, yeah. patio manual. That's my new name. All That's right, great. patio manual, patio furniture. Uh, the rubber guy just worth playing again. Oh, you're not gonna make me wear a rubber, are you? Yeah, you're about to die there, buddy. Uh, you're not gonna wear. You're gonna be out in a rubber uh, bag. So enjoy that. Uh, not even there. You, oh, your Doonesbury reference. Not even Doonesbury. Doonesbury. Not even Doonesbury. Oh, get, not even Doonesbury. Dad. 
Uh, here's a Harrison Ford. <laughs> that comic strip belongs in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Harrison Ford did a toot, and here's my proof. Okay, so enjoy this. I doubt very much whether anyone in this courtroom would disagree. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, see, you heard it. Oh, wow. I heard it now. Yeah, yeah I love it. If you really, it's hard when you're watching visually. Sometimes you miss it, right? So you have to yeah, go back yeah. and isolate Glad it. You, uh, yeah, for sure. Here's Darth Vader, his first line. Morning, Jack. Morning, Jack. Yeah. Morning, Jack. It always sounds like you're being sarcastic when somebody's name is Jack. Morning, Jack. Yeah. It's surprising yeah. today that we're not going to do Star Wars connections instead of Star Trek because you're yeah. right because there's so My many. Is gosh. it just because it's too easy? Is I think too easy? Star Trek connections too. It's so yeah. weird though. And then you know what's weird in '92 and '94 when he's being Jack Ryan, I never once in that theater went, "Oh, this is great." The Han Solo and Darth Vader hanging out. Yeah. It never <laughs> occurred to me then. No. no. And you didn't even think about Mace Windu. Nope. Didn't what even is think about wrong it. with me? Well, Mace Windu didn't exist yet, but <laughs> that's yeah. right. Uh, okay. Oh, here's that fake award we recognize professor john patrick ryan with the order of the purple target so, so funny <laughs> what's on your medal <laughs> right <laughs> well, like a purple target nice uh harrison ford looking for sean milker anyway here it is where's sean miller oh miller i wrote oh, milker yeah. <laughs> on? i love it when a film when they just get the actor's name is the same as the character yeah. also name. it's oh, his it's his me. get off my plane voice where's sean miller it's just that get, the, yeah, yeah. get off my plane sean yeah. miller. Get me back my son yep he's always doing that uh the most irish name in the movie jimmy o'reardon jimmy o'reardon <laughs> mm. <laughs> jimmy o'reardon i'm yeah. jimmy o'reardon uh most dramatic toilet flush of all time check this out Why was that like that? Why was it? One like... of us is in the wrong toilet room. One of us took a shit in the ladies' room. Get out mm. of here! <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to be in here, sir, sir. Now you know how the prom clips I get from Ibbett's mom are almost always during prom or just after prom. Sure, it's yeah. rarely yeah. like ahead of time when you're in the planning phase. You know? Mm. Oh, well, yeah, right. She yeah. sent me this yeah. one. Uh, uh, this is this is her or this is Brian during the planning phase about who he wants to go to prom with him, like who he's oh, aiming good. for. Yeah. And this sure. is what you said. Long red hair. This is who we should be looking for. Yeah, you yeah. were you knew. You yeah. Knew. I'm not wasting my money on a promposal. Uh, <laughs> unless, uh she better long. have long red hair. Right. How, she better have long. <laughs> how good is how cool is it right. that we got multiple uh, instances of her, the Harrison Ford pointer finger? Like mm -hmm. oh yeah. Yeah. He gets his finger up and points at people many oh, times. Oh, yeah. I love that because that's his that's his shut up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. He does it a lot. He does it in everything. Yeah. Oh, that's great. But when he did it, he kind of the one when he was in the uh hospital and he's still pissed about his kid and um Jimmy O'Reardon or whatever his name is. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, Richard Harris is there, yeah, and he's yeah. trying to. Oh, we just want you to know we feel bad about all of it. Blah, blah, blah. And he oh, says, yes. he just turns yes. and goes with that finger, and, and he does felt... the finger. That's the best one. I, oh, I was hoping you'd have a gift of that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a great one. I'm almost dead because I was like a perfect reaction gift, but it's also um, it reminded me of Endgame for some reason of when yeah, uh, yeah. Doctor Strange is like, we got one option. Oh Here, yeah, here's yeah. my finger. One option. <laughs> By the way, we're getting, you know, uh, Harrison Ford, our new Thunderbolt Ross. Oh, that's oh, right. MCU. That's right. How, are they going to do any explaining away of why he looks so different than John Hurt? Or are they, or, uh, do they ever? William I mean, Hurt, rather. The only time that's ever acknowledged that I can think of is uh, Roseanne, where uh, they switched Beckys and they made some joke about <laughs> the new the new <laughs> Becky. <laughs> I love it. You switched the Beckys on me. Here's some, uh, I thought these were bad Irish accents, but I think some of these people were Irish, so I'm not sure where my head is on this, but here it is. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The trip served its purpose. It does matter. It does matter. It doesn't matter. It does. It does matter. But my, it my, my, my blue, yellow rainbows aren't in the bowl. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Here is the great late Richard oh, Harris. It since you've had a bowl of Lucky Charms, Scott. <laughs> oh, man. Long time. What'd Too they have long, in there? Yeah. Blue clovers? No. Green clovers. Uh, blue purple diamonds. Rainbows. Oh, uh, purple clovers. Sorry, that's right. Yellow it... moons. Pink hearts. Pink hearts. Blue diamonds. Blue green diamonds, clovers. Green clovers. Uh, uh, what else is there? Uh, yellow. We had, rain we had balloons for a while. Unicorns Red balloons. or rainbows. Did you say that already? I don't, don't, don't freaking remember. I should know this because I got that box that time that had nothing but the marshmallows in it. Yeah. Oops, all marshmallows. Yeah, that was amazing. 
Uh, you right. did it again. Here's your late Richard Harris doing some stuff. But the day that I sell out my countrymen will be the day that I put a bullet through my own head. Do you think he had any idea how cool his son Richard or uh, Jared Harris would be? Because his oh yeah, I, yeah. I think Jared. he did. Yeah. Yeah. I think he did. I think he he lived long enough to see Jared Harris. Jared Harris really rocks. Something. My gosh, I'll, yeah. I'll see anything with him in it. Even that horrible well pandemic is partly to blame but that foundation thing on apple tv plus oh, should have yeah. been better right but i loved it for him in it so good yeah chernobyl uh, was great uh yeah uh, it, know, was, any, uh, uh any uh, guess on whether or not we've uh, seen some richard harris movies on film sack before at least one this, Whoa. This is the first one is it for is oh richard harris didn't we yeah, do richard unforgiven harris, oh richard harris we done unforgiven no oh wait richard harris yeah richard harris <laughs> <laughs> did we did we not we didn't do unforgiven yet i just saw that no, with, we have I not done I unforgiven saw yet. it with no, you guys not. i guess i saw it on my own oh, that's a great movie i'd watch it again with you guys i love it so uh it's our it's our first it's also our first thor birch our first ann archer and our first thor birch is it yep <laughs> is it i thought we did we just did yep. thor didn't birch. we just do no thor i birch? was wondering why you kept bringing up thor birch we, could, we didn't see her I'm like looking back hollow man uh mission impossible blood simple oh, cocaine minute. bear oh i yeah you I'm mentioned we were Dunaway. on a thor birch kick i think you just watched what the... uh what's that comic book movie she did with uh scarlett johansson uh oh um what was that called uh yeah it was really good but uh <sighs> shit i can't remember the damn name of it <sighs> Ah, I'm I'm I just think everyone in Ghost World mostly. That's where my head Ghost goes. World, that's it. That's is that the, the one? That's the one. That's okay. the one. That's oh, the that's the. Uh, you're right. It. That is totally the one. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! Yes, how is that? That's, it, Scott. that's the. How is that? Twenty two years old. Jeez. Wow. That's okay. crazy. All right. Well, while I'm while I'm looking at the numbers, uh, this was our eighth Samuel L. Jackson movie. He's our leader. Uh, our seventh for oh. Sean Bean, Harrison wow. Ford, and <laughs> Sam Raimi. Mm. Uh, I, I know what Ryan I was and thinking. I just of. realized. Yeah. Ted Dungeons Ted and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons from 2000. <laughs> you guys oh, were involved. Oh, you watched that's that. That's the reason yeah. why I just did that. And yeah. you put yeah. it up in Film Sack as a bonus and all. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Hey. Well done. She's I in that. She's to, doing. She's wanna... in that new uh, Gabby Petito story thing about that girl that died here in Utah while she was yeah, um, on the road or whatever. It too, didn't she? She directed it. Oh, maybe. Oh, really? Let me see. TV movie. Oh, Thora Birch direct and also a character. Wow. The Gabby Petito story. Huh? On Lifetime. <laughs> Meh. Meh. I, I guess I better re-up it. I don't mm. have that uh, deal. <laughs> Is there a Lifetime app that you get? I don't know. About to find uh, out. That story ripped our whole local news cycle oh, to pieces. Sure, yeah. <laughs> it was really something. Uh, all right. Zoom and enhance. Here's his way of saying zoom and enhance. Okay. So here you go. Tighten up on that way. Can you enhance that? Sharpen it up. It's just, it's without, it's like saying the same yeah. thing in different words. I love it. Yeah. Can it's you like uh, a, get it's closer to date. that and make it sharper? <laughs> right. I want to, I want to see that cleavage very clearly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I love when he says tits. Yeah. I, did, I didn't even hear it. I had to put the closed caption on, but he says tits. Oh, yeah. really? Tits. Yeah. 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 Tits. I did, I did not pick that up. Wow. Yeah. No, he says it so quietly. I think that's why Dunaway kept saying tit for tat earlier, over and over. Yeah. 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 Oh. We had more sense. tit for tat at per capita. This today. is my yeah. rule. Yeah. If yeah. the movie says it, I'm allowed to say it in the show. Yeah, you are. Oh, yeah. That's absolutely. the rule. Yeah. Sure. yeah. So if someone says the N word really loud, you're allowed to oh. say that on the Ooh. show. That's the yeah, reason why we, we can't we watch never, those. We cannot watch uh, <laughs> Django Unchained. I'm no. sorry. Uh, sorry, everybody. That's why we can't watch those. That's why. Oh, the stories about that. Uh, this, there's such great stories about this on set where DiCaprio was like really struggling. Yes. He did not want to say it. He hated it. And they were like, yeah. well, it's a movie. It's this. And Sam Jackson is the one that like grabbed him, yeah. shook him a little, and went, listen, man, you just got to let her, you know, something, I can't remember what You're it was. There's, an actor. An, there's actor. some really Damn cool it. trivia about that. <laughs> Somewhere there's some, oh, it was Jamie Foxx that was telling the story. It's really yeah, fascinating. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Say uh, that word one more time. Yep. I dare you. <laughs> I love that movie. Uh, all right, here is, uh, uh, what? What do you mean, what do you do? Okay. What do you mean, what do you do? Oh, it's literally him saying that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh mean? my God! That what needs to be put to music. I, I, we need a Gregory Brothers cut of that. Over what do you mean? What do you do? Again. What do you mean? What do you do? It's got a, it's got rhythm. It totally does. Yeah. What do you mean? What do you do? What, what do you mean? mean? What, what do you do? do? Somebody get on that out there. All right. Yeah. One of you are smart. 
Um, <laughs> what have you heard? I, already spent, I already spent three hours editing background vocals. Yeah. Of, of, yeah, I'm yeah. not doing it. <laughs> Here are the cartoony Brit- Brits. Jeffrey, let's check with John Ryan about scheduling a presentation dinner at our embassy in Washington on the uh, 14th. The 14th. Such a joke. I love it. Jeffrey. Schedule. Right. Schedule it. All right. Sorry, Dennis. Sorry, Dennis. Oh, it was right before Dennis got killed. Yeah, right before he gets shot. Because he can't Dennis. he can't fire a gun that Dennis. Yeah. He if I was Dennis, if he knew what he knows now, you just turn around yeah. and shoot those guys, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Sorry, Dennis. <laughs> uh here's Jeffrey getting shot and it made me laugh. <laughs> yeah. It would hurt so much. Yeah, it hurts. It would hurt. <laughs> Kneecap shot, dude. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You'll never walk the same. I don't care what surgery they do. Oh, God. Yeah. You're done. Jeez, Jack Ryan. You really jacked up his knee, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Final sound on this is actually a sound. It's not uh, voices. It's just those stock silent gun noises. Check them out. Whoa. Yeah. Did you hear that? Everyone used those. Totally. That's the silencer sound too, right? Yep. Isn't with a, it with is. a yeah. tiny little amount of phaser built in. Like just a little <laughs> oh, bit a of little laser. phaser. No. Yeah. laser. Oh, I wonder mm-hmm. if that was on purpose. Got his blaster out, right? Yeah. Who shot first? We know now. So well, phasers on silent. He was tired of that conversation anyway and then shot the gun. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. It's time for this. Screw. Nope. Not that. Screw. It's time for the uh, film sack checklist. Air Force One, but in a house. Check. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, never trust Jeffrey. Check. Never. And finally, night vision is for losers. Check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lame. Aww. Super lame. Uh, it's it's probably expensive too. This movie, like they're like they're using night vision indoors, and there's a roaring fire in the fireplace, yeah. and they look at it, and it's like it barely registers. Yeah, it was dumb. Mm-hmm. And then lights being flicked on in a room suddenly made him the most blind he's ever been. That was that was dumb. Oh, very dumb. Tom, that's why Tom Clancy balked. He was like, I know how this shit works, and that ain't how it works, says Tom Clancy. <laughs> uh, Star Trek connections. Let's get to it. Uh, I got to think there's at least a couple, right? Oh, yeah, there's a bunch. I'm going to run through three really minor ones, and then we can talk about the best connection in All the right. movie. Mm. Uh, so Bob Gunton played interviewer in this movie. He was in an episode of TNG. Fritz Sperberg played Spiva in this movie. <laughs> he was in an episode of DS9 and an episode of Voyager. Sean Duke played Pharaoh in this movie and was, was also in an episode of TNG. That second guy, by the way, a real lateral name move. Didn't really. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like Spivey <laughs> yeah. to Speedboard or whatever. It's kind of yeah, weird. Yeah. Sperberg. It's like, it's just Sperberg. as weird. It didn't make it better. It didn't make it worse. No. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> May as well just gone with your name, but anyway. All right. The absolute grab you by the attention uh cast member in this movie from Star Trek The Next Generation is Ellen Gear. Uh in these movies, she plays Rose, the um the point of contact for Jack Ryan back at the agency. Uh older woman, just it just like made me sit up straight when I saw her and heard her. This is why it's so familiar. In the Star Trek. Yeah. The Next Generation episode, Silicon Avatar. She is the uh, mother of a uh, scientist who was killed by this entity in space. And she comes on the uh, uh, Enterprise ostensibly to uh, observe and analyze the entity when actually her mission is to kill the Silicon Avatar entity. And she does. She Shut ends up, up blowing it up. And then everyone on the Enterprise is shocked. Wow. Shocked, um, I say. I remember Ellen, that. Yeah. She did look Ellen, very familiar to me. Uh, yeah. She was also in The Postman. She was like a old woman in a town in The Postman. We got to get to that. We, gotta, so I feel we have we, to watch it so I can finally see it. Yes. I, I knew I wouldn't. I'm, I'm avoiding watching it because I know we'll eventually watch it for films. Brian, sake. all you got to do is set aside three and a half hours of your life. Okay. Oh, oh is that right. all? No, I don't remember Sweet. how long it is. It's pretty long, though, but. We should see this theatrical for sure. There's a, there's a much longer cut. We don't want to do that. It's too big. I like the Postman. Still, but... It still doesn't come close to all the complications of the book. It's no, one not of those even. where it's like, if you read the book and you watch the movie, you're getting very different experiences. Yeah, but it's got that Tom Petty stunt casting. That's pretty fun. Oh, love it. Love it. Oh, cool. A lot of people think that's in Waterworld. They're wrong. They have it backwards. It's in uh, the other one. So take that world. All right, moving on. <laughs> Uh, let's get to the uh, the soundtrack. Great, I give it a B for bleh. It didn't work for me. Like 
Dunaway no. says maybe it's worth checking into later. I really like yeah. Horner a lot, so I, there's no reason why I shouldn't like it, but I just it didn't work for me. I don't know why. So it could be yeah, anything. Yeah, James Horner. Spotty. James Horner doesn't really come into his own until later. Like around, I don't know, uh, The Mask of Zorro. I don't know. Um, That's a, I like that soundtrack. To, yeah, that was good. Uh, it was like very, it was later. very. Uh, he, he gets uh, better later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. A lot of these composers do, I find. Uh, mm-hmm. It feels like the only guy that ever just sort of hit the road running was um, John Williams, really. You know? Yeah. You can't really name anything bad he did except for that alternate intro to Gilligan's Island back in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to start somewhere, right. all right? You got to so start somewhere. Weird. Yeah. Uh, let's move on to the Twitter post. This is where you guys. You, you go, and it could be any social media sort of thing. It doesn't have to be Twitter, okay? We just call it that. But you could hop onto Mastodon or somewhere, and uh, in about 280 characters or less, you're going to sum this film up. And I think this week, we're going to just change it all up, switch all the pieces around, change the rules, and start with Randy. And it's uh, 250 this week. Patriot Games. <sighs> Old Blighty Vacationing puts your left arm in a sling. Immediately lost that thing. Game Boy on the front porch swing to the agency, as you do, say enhance for better view. OG Dumbledore spoke true. Han Solo hugged Mace Windu. Mm, <laughs> true story. All that's true. See? Uh, so copy and paste that into the thing. That's really good. Uh, sorry, I was kind of blew, blown away by it. Dunaway, your turn. Patriot Games, like watching two hours of military satellite footage from a North African terrorist training camp and waiting to catch a glimpse of from space tit cleavage. <laughs> tit cleavage. It's hard to say. Tit cleavage. Uh huh. Wow. Clive- cleavage. It's like there's, there, the, the autocorrect is not yeah, working. For I wrote it, but I can't say it. Wow. Just fast forward to the good parts. You know, you know, you do. Yeah. Just go watch some porn. Yeah. You big perk. Watch porn. <laughs> Just. Boy, I don't know if the TIT word has been said more on one show than today. No. You're welcome. No. Lots of tit. No, lot, very little tat, by the way. Yeah, oh. I need, we need to provide some tat. Yeah, get some tat. Maybe, maybe Ibit here in his uh, Twitter post will give us some tat. Brian, take it sure. away. Patriot Games. The only thing this proves is that between cutting off Lord Holmes and family and running Porsches into guardrails, the Irish are really shitty drivers. <laughs> Hashtag tat. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Late edition, I like it. it Nicely done. (laughs) All right. Well, as as long as that's over with, we got this to do. Uh, This was uh, uh, had alternate titles, and the first title was almost called Tom Clancy's "We've Been Here Before." Uh, Been, yeah, Uh sure. uh huh. Or Indiana Jones and the Slow Movie of Boredom. That was almost the thing. (laughs) (laughs) That's great. Yeah, it was a real close call, but they went with Patriot Games. Hey, I got a couple of emails to read from uh, listeners, and uh, we love doing these. it's a little bit of a feedback loop with you, the fine listeners. And if you'd like to, you can send them into filmsack at gmail.com. Here's one from Pete who says, hello, gang. I don't think we get called gang a lot. Gang. Yeah. Aww. I, I like gang. gang. Yeah, I like it. Let's bring it back. Let's make it cool again. Okay. Uh, during the recent MI3 episode, the Mission Impossible 3 episode, there was a brief discussion of Microdots tech. Ibit made mm. a throwaway comment about thinking it was a drug reference. I had the same reaction while watching the movie. In my mid to late teens, early mid 1990s, Microdots were a specific kind of LSD. They'd come around only okay. once a year or so, and they were rare and very potent. My friend and I took a handful uh, a couple of times, or sorry, uh, took them a handful of times, not oh, a handful uh-huh. of them, a, a handful, handful of, of times. times. Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> uh, before I quit psychedelics altogether. And boy, howdy, Microdots blew some minds and opened up some universes for us punk teens in Connecticut. Anyway, just want to make sure Brian gets credit for uh, what is due. Love the show. You guys are the best. Pete. So... Pete Best says, uh, <laughs> he says, uh, you were right. You were right to think of the drug reference. I didn't know. I'd never even heard of it in that yeah, way. Yeah, that's so. that was my only connection. I mean, the only thing I thought of, I've never tried micro dots, but. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it sounds like those, it makes sense, right? That those would be the intense yeah. little acid pills or whatever that people would yep, take. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Curiously strong acid, I believe, is how they were initially marketed. <laughs> I like the idea that you could either take it. Because they come in Altoid cans. Ah. You, yeah. You exactly. could either take it. And read it, and it's the baby, the dancing baby from the early 2000s. Or, oh, yeah, from the I or, mean, Bill commercials. Yeah, or you can swallow or, it, Joe. and you will see the dancing baby in your... Uh, <laughs> All right, very good. Yeah, well works both yes. ways. Uh, just yes. Terry wrote in and says, Scott, Brian, Brian, and Randy, I'm mm-hmm. sure you got a lot of emails, but Bram- Rambo dies at the end of uh, Last Blood, Rambo 5. Okay. Oh, oh. okay. 
All right. So, well, well thanks. Spoiler. It's a little no, bit of a doesn't. spoiler. Jeez. Is that not true, Randy? He doesn't die? No, Do I think it's I think it's totally up in the air. I don't oh. think we know. Okay. I haven't seen five, so right. I, I don't know. I've seen spoiler. I saw four or <laughs> the one they just Deep called spoiled. Rambo. I like the Rambo Deep 2008 spoiled. one. That's a cool movie. That movie's great. Uh, let's do a text uh, also here real quick from 304, which I think is an error message, right? Anyway, that's his name. <laughs> it's almost not found. Yeah. He texted us at 801-471-0462 and said, I just listened to your heavy metal sack. That's a while ago. Oh, wow. You guys seem lukewarm on it. If you're looking for an awesome, very sackable Canadian cartoon, look no further than Rock and Rule. Uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a movie. I've never heard of this. It says, it's great, Same. more or less, way better animation, more consistent, still lots of rotoscoping, but better. Thanks, 304. Hmm. So you've seen this, Dibbit? Uh, no, I've never seen it. I had the poster for it um, because it was so cool. It was like a similar situation, and I want to say there was a mouse in it that was based on Mick Jagger. It might be like the lead villain mouse kind of based on Mick Jagger. Um, but I remember it being, isn't it the same uh, animator? Bakshi? <sighs> Is it, um... it, maybe that one's Bakshi? Because remember I was getting, I kept accidentally calling the other one Bakshi. Yeah, I think Rock and Roll is back, Bakshi. I'm looking at the poster now. The, oh, the now I'm interested. I love that crap. Super yeah, good. Uh, he wrote a scope to everything. But to, to a... Yeah, I a, think... To a, um, yeah, we, we definitely need to see this because this is one... I don't, I don't know why I never saw it, but... Uh, um, and it stars Brett Titcomb, which is one more. Oh, one man. more tip. There you go. Yeah, just one more. Tip. One more. It's not getting there. I'm gonna watch. Uh, I'm gonna watch Total Recall tonight and get three more. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. Yeah, very heavy metal looking, but it's got Cheap Trick, Debbie Harry, Lou Reed, Iggy Pop, Earth, Wind, and Fire doing the music. Mm. Uh, and it's it looks like a rock and roll version of uh, of um, of heavy well, metal. I guess like a. Um, a more rock themed version of heavy metal instead of just featuring rock. Uh, streaming anywhere? Do we know? It's like a oh, thing. Let's take a look. Because that's the well, trick, right? It's like, uh, can we diff- can we see it? That kind of is the determining factor, isn't it? Yeah, feels like. Uh, let's see. I can't find it. It's not showing up for me in the search. Uh, 1983 rock and roll, not streaming or even rentable or purchasable anywhere. So, this would have to be a DVDs, and people need to watch a crap version on youtube or something yeah or yeah maybe youtube's got it or something i don't know we'll right, we'll, yeah. we'll we'll think about it but yeah it doesn't sound like it i mean i bet in canada yeah. it's easier to get i don't know probably yeah like like all their I, bad I just, content i just want you to know yeah i don't want to i don't want to i don't want this to be a debate because i think it's i just i, I just want to state something and i not just loaded coming. up yeah. i just loaded up rambo five and skipped to the very end <laughs> and the whole point of the ending is you don't know he, so you're supposed to is, not really know if he dies. Yeah. Rambo is injured for sure, but like usual, as as he does. Per usual. But yeah. he sits in a rocking chair on the front porch of his house. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. And uh, there is a fade to black here. He is not, he, he was not telling you whether yeah. or not. So it's Rambo like a died. Sopranos ending, basically. Kind of. Yeah. Without the cool music attached yeah. to it. Yeah. I haven't, I've, people always tell me five kind of sucks. So I haven't gotten, gotten near it. But like it five. is a, awesome action like movie. it's yeah, very man. gory Extremely is it gory. well 2008 was pretty gory too and that was the one stallone wrote and directed and i that's the moment i went why isn't he directing more i thought that was awesome and then he kind of you know then we got what the 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 incredible not the incredibles the untouchables what are they the expendables the expendables, expendables. It's the first time he directed again and it was like me me Meow. not as cool Meow. um all right thanks for those texts and emails uh you guys and uh of course links to all that stuff so you can contact us is on the website which is over at filmsack.com real quick patron mention we got a brand new dude today i assume it's a dude i don't actually know but they just go by <laughs> dw that could be Derek walker oh, yeah. or it could be diane wiener smith dark wing duck it could be dark wing duck pop songs yeah could be any of those things could be dirty wash rag i don't know <laughs> Whoa! Well, I don't know what you're you watch, drag you. I don't want to make assumptions, but they joined us, and we're thrilled to have them don't with you us. Though. You get uh, no commercials on that feed, so you know you get pre-show content. You get monthly benefit shows that come from the hosts. That sounds like a, a, a charity. It's not. We do these shows on the monthly, um, and they're great. We really like those. You get uh, movie-related art prints in the mail, other cool stuff. So go check it out. It's over at uh, patreoncom slash sack and become a larger part of the film sack family today 
Our next episode will be our hot action movie summer action movie special. Oh, that's, that's wow. I think what we should call it. I um, think hams, hams. You just said hams, 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 hams. hams. Um, yeah, we're doing a special. So we've, we've got a little bit of travel and stuff going on this month. So as a result, we're we're uh, doing one of our specials, and uh, that that way we're not leaving without a show that week. But no movie to go brush up on, everybody, except you know, your, just your love of action films, because it's going to be all about that. So uh, check that out. That'll be next week. And then after that, I, I don't know what our movie is. Do we know what it is after that? It's uh, Underworld. Und- oh, shit. Underworld. Oh, I'm so excited to hear that. I love the first Underworld. The rest are poopy, but that first one is great. Great movie. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. It's got Positive. It's got that, We're going to find uh, out together. It's got that dude. Um, everyone loves him. I can't think of his name. Uh, he's a vampire. Everybody loves him. Nobody can remember his name, though. He'll he's remember. great. Uh, it's Michael Sheen. There you go. Mm. Uh, British actor, uh, Frost Phoenix in uh, the Twilight movies. You know this guy. He's in a lot better stuff than that. that. Um, but anyway, he's in it, and he's great in it. He plays a werewolf, and he's awesome. Anyway, that'll be uh, after that, and I can't wait for that. That's very exciting. So in the meantime, filmsack.com uh, is the place to be. Patreon.com slash filmsack, as I mentioned before. And uh, leave us those reviews wherever you uh, get your podcasts. It helps us out a lot. That's going to do it for us, for me, for Brian, for Brian, and for Randy. You sick son of a bitch. We'll (laughs) we'll see you next time. If you like what you just heard, there's a very good chance you will like all the shows on the Frog Pants Network. Get more at frogpants.com. Sorry, Dennis. Oh, Dennis. So sorry, Dennis. You know, I'll think about him a lot. I'll think about Dennis. Or Dennis and his books. Yeah. And he's a he's a menace. I can do it. Please don't. I can do it. I can shoot the gun.